Hello and welcome to ClearML. In this video, we'll go a little more advanced and introduce autoscalers, the easiest way to build your very own flock of ClearML agents. Data science is inherently very inconsistent in its demand for compute resources. One moment you're just researching papers and need no compute at all. Another moment you're making 16 GPU scream and you wish you had more. Especially when running hyperparameter optimization or pipelines, for example, it can be very, very handy to have some extra hardware for a short time. Remote machines are easy to get from any cloud provider these days, and you only pay for the time that you use them. As long as you don't forget to shut them down properly after you're done. Seriously, I'm pretty sure that at least 30% of the cloud provider's GPU usage is just people forgetting to shut down their remote machines over the weekend. Or is that just me? Anyway, that's what an autoscaler takes care of for you, spinning up as many machines as you need, when you need them, and then automatically shutting them back down again when you don't. Once the autoscaler is deployed, you can just add experiments to a queue, just like we saw in the previous videos. Once there are experiments detected in the queue, the autoscaler will automatically spin up new remote machines and turn them into ClearML agents that will run them for you. No fiddling with the remote SSH, no Docker containers, and no need to worry about shutting them down again. The autoscaler does it all for you. You can also get fancy with queues. Create as many of them as you want, and you can specify which type of remote machine should serve which queues. So imagine you have a CPU queue and a GPU queue. All you have to do is put your experiment in the right queue, and you know exactly what type of machine will be running it. Obviously, you should also configure a maximum budget. You can do this by limiting the number of machines that can be spun up at one time, so you don't incur any extra unexpected expenses. Now that the theory is taken care of, let's take a look at how to set up an autoscaler on ClearML. To launch the autoscaler, go to app.clear.ml and open the Applications page. There you'll find the autoscalers for each of the large cloud providers. To launch the autoscaler this way requires ClearML Pro, but it's cheap enough that forgetting to shut down a remote GPU machine for one day costs more than a year of ClearML Pro, so that's your call. We'll go into the AWS wizard in this video, but the other autoscalers have a very similar setup. First and foremost are the credentials for your cloud provider of choice. Make sure you assign the correct rights because the autoscaler will use these credentials to launch the machines and shut them back down again when they're idle. Naturally, you want the agent to be able to run your original code, so we need to supply our Git credentials as well. This works by using a Git application token as password. You can find how to generate such a token in the description below. Oh, and by the way, if you're running from a notebook, don't worry, even notebooks that were tracked using the experiment manager can be reproduced on the remote machine. The last big but important setting is of course which kind of machines we want to spin up. The exact details will depend heavily on which cloud platform you end up using, but in general you'll mainly need to provide what kind of machine type you want to run. So think the amount of CPU cores, RAM and GPUs. Each cloud provider has different options and naming schemes, but there will always be a handy tooltip right here that will guide you to the relevant documentation. Once you have decided the details of your machine, you can also enter which queues you want these kind of machines to listen to here, just like we discussed in the first part of the video. You also have to specify the maximum number of these kinds of machines that are allowed to run at the same time, so you can keep your expenses under control. You can add as many of these machine types as you wish. Finally, there are some advanced configuration settings that you can read more about in the documentation that we will link below. After filling in all of these settings, let's launch the autoscaler now, so we can see how it actually works. We immediately start in the autoscaler dashboard, and we see the amount of machines that are running, the amounts of machines that are doing nothing or idling, how many machines we have available per queue, and the autoscaler logs as well. Right now we have no machines running at all because our queues are still empty. So we can go to our projects and clone some of these tasks here. We'll first clone these two and then queue them in the CPU queue. Then we can clone this one as well. We can edit the parameters like we saw before in previous videos and even change which container it should be run in. We then enqueue it in the GPU queue and we should now see the autoscaler kicking into action. The autoscaler has detected the tasks in the queue and has started booting up remote machines to process them. We can follow along with the process in our autoscaler dashboard. Once the machines are spinned up, the ClearML agents will register as available workers in the Workers and Queues tab. 
From here, they behave just like any other agent that we've already seen before. Finally, when everything is done and the remote machines are idle, they will be shut down automatically and the workers list will be empty yet again. You can see that this functionality is very powerful when combined with, for example, hyperparameter optimization or pipelines that launch a lot of these tasks at once. Obviously, it can be used as the primary way to get access to remote compute, but it can also even be used as an extra layer on top of the machines you already have on premise to spill over in case of large demand spikes, for example. You don't pay when you don't use it, so there isn't really a good reason not to have one running at all times. So get started with ClearML for free at app.clear.ml and start spinning up remote machines with ClearML Pro if you want to save some money and effort by automating the boring stuff. If you run into any issues along the way, join our Slack channel and we'll help you out.